Hello and welcome to my install video for Cloudy Pro 2. First let me start by saying that there are a couple of different ways to install this ROM. The first thing I can tell you is make sure that you have one of the variants that he has outlined here that he's compatible with which is the D800, D801, D802 and the F320. <clears throat> Although during install I saw some more F variants listed. What does this ROM have to offer for you? Well, it's a uh, stock ROM based off of the LG G Pro 2, and uh, it's ODEX, it's zip aligned. When you install it, it uses an ROM installer. It takes care of everything for you as far as the kernel goes, so that you can select your variant, etc. BusyBox, uh, SuperSU, he's deep loaded it, obviously. Uh, he's imported uh, the Pro 2 camera. It's got the 4K and the multi, the Magic Focus feature, uh, which I will be testing out extensively uh, for my review. Uh, some brightness and volume toggles that you can take those away with the settings. Art support and uh, recovery support. What does that mean? Most of your KitKat ROMs, your LG-based KitKat ROMs, they have blocked the Loki exploit. exploit that was being utilized to have a working recovery in the jelly bean ROMs. So what you have here is you have a uh, the old partition with the working recovery and a uh, boot image um, that tells it to work with the old recovery, if that makes sense. So they've kind of uh, bypassed it a little bit. You're going to read down here and you're going to see this is the initial release. You're going to see this is a working this is the working ROM with fully functional recovery. You're going to want to download the latest Phil's Touch Recovery and you're going to want to download the latest KitKat baseband. If you are coming from a ROM like Gary D's or Android user 110 anyways, if you're coming from a working LG based KitKat ROM that has a working recovery for it already, then you already have the KitKat baseband. If you're coming from anything else, from a flex-based ROM, from um, Cloudy Stock, now the, the, the newest Cloudy Stock has the working recovery as well and it has similar install procedures, but the older one uh, does not. So if you're coming from the Cloudy Stock that's based off a of Jelly Bean, you're going to have to install that KitKat baseband. Okay? So you're going to download the KitKat baseband just in case you need it. And you're going to go down here and you're going to download the Cloudy Pro 2. All right. Once you've done that, and you reboot your phone into your recovery, and install Phil's Touch Work Recover Latest One, if you already have a working Phil's, okay, um, you'll be ready to go with the next steps. If you have Twerp, I'm going to show you what to do if you have Twerp and you want to get the working Phil's, because as you're going to read through the forms, which I'm going to provide you the link for below in the description you're going to see um, that there is some talk about what's locified and what's not locified, etc. I'm going to show you a way around that and make it quick and easy for you, alright? Okay, so <clears throat> you have installed Clockwork, the, or sorry, Phil's Touch Recovery. You've installed Phil's Touch Recovery and you've rebooted back to your um, whatever version of Android you're using right now. And then you reboot back into recovery, and here you are at Phil's Touch. Okay, uh, I just did a backup. So what we're going to do is we're going to go wipe data factory reset. Okay, clean to install a new ROM. Yes, I will install a new ROM. Okay, it's done. Press any key to continue. Now we're going to install zip. Install from the SD card. Wherever you downloaded it to. In my case, it's in downloads. Alright, Cloudy Pro 2. Here we go, yes. Now this uses an Aroma installer. So here we go. Next, we're going to do an installation. Select your model. It shows the F320S, the F320K, the F320L, the D800, the D801, the T-Mobile model, the D802, the international model. Hit next. If you want to take any of these off, take them off. I'll take off the quick voice because I don't use it. I'll leave those. I'll leave the dictionary, translator, puller. Yeah, I'll leave those. And we'll install. 
this will take some time as this is a pretty uh, loaded ROM. Okay, so it's finished installing. You see it's Strike Loki Package, Strike D800 Kernel, and Loki and Flash. So, um, just as a reminder, okay, if you did not come from a ROM that already had a working recovery with LG Base KitKat, you would have flashed that baseband first, okay? Flash that baseband first, and then you would have flashed this ROM. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit the reboot device, but I'm actually not going to reboot yet. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you on hold here. Remember, again, if you if you have a doubt, just flash that, that baseband, the KitKat baseband. If you have a doubt, just flash that KitKat baseband. Okay, so we're rebooting now. All right, so uh, obviously you see here I restored my backup, but you know same thing applies, and I have my not code here, which I'm not gonna. But it works. You can see. Um, a couple things to note: when you install this ROM, um, make sure that if you're going to use Expose, there's a new Expose that came out today. Make sure you use the new beta that came out today. And I'll go ahead and show you what it's called. Okay. Properties. It's the Exposed Installer 2.5 Beta 1 APK. Okay. And if you can't tell here, it works. Um, you can see here I've got uh, my clock in the center. The only thing, the G2 Exposed, the only problem with G2 Exposed right now is that sometimes the settings don't stick, some of the settings. Like for instance, I told it to hide my battery icon. If I uncheck it and check it again, it works. So sometimes some of the settings don't stick. Um, but overall, it works pretty good. We're going to go over here to Exposed. I've tested the app settings, the G2 exposed, and Gravity Box. I had to use Gravity Box to adjust my nav bar down here to make it smaller. And you can tell it's smaller because when you run the drop down here, maybe I should go to it from a different screen. Okay. It doesn't quite touch the bottom of the nav bar because it stops where it normally would stop. Not really that noticeable on the home screen, but on some screens you'll see the difference. Um, and you know it is what it is not a big deal but it does happen that way uh, also things to note if you want swiping your keyboard uh, read the description below I'm going to give you uh, a, a value to change to true because currently it's false in the build prop and a line to add in the build prop if you know how to do that you know use a build prop editor that's what I use anyways and um, add those lines and you will have the option for swipe on your keyboard otherwise you won't have swipe and that's one of the things that I do uh, enjoy using and I am trying to actually use the LG keyboard not Swift key because Swift key lately keeps capitalizing things automatically uh, that I don't want it to and it's very annoying so that's how you install the ROM let me show you that this is working and with the if you're not familiar with the G Pro ROMs you do have the G Pro 2 anyways you do have the ability to, in the settings to hide these without having to use the exposed module. I still have the exposed module enabled so I can bring them back, but you don't have to have the exposed module to get rid of them. I'm going to slide down here about phone and we're going to go to software information and you'll see right here 4.4.2 Cloudy Pro 2 1.0. And that's it. I should have a review ready for you Tuesday. It's, it's looking very positive.